Uh, what is the topic sentence? Mansoor. True. Anybody want to say it differently or add information to that? What does the topic sentence carry, Kim? Ooh. You're right. You're like three steps ahead already. Um, so I'm going to pause on you because I'm going to get to what you said, which is really specific and very important in a moment. I want some more general basic information first. Haley. Oh, good. Haley's correct. In prompt-based writing, like if I gave you a prompt, it often restates the prompt. That is true. I was also thinking that it carries, and this is basically what Mansoor said, the main idea. All right, let me ask a negative question. What does it not carry? What does it not provide? Thank you. If you opened your myth research paper with the date of birth or the place of birth of your character, that's a detail. That's not the main idea. Your paper's not about their birth. It's about their life. If you said um, Pandora was created by Zeus, that's a detail. Or, I'm sorry, Pandora was created by Hephaestus, ordered by Zeus. That's a detail. That is not the main idea, that it's not the topic sentence. Your topic sentence should be general, not specific, and it should capture all of the paper in one sentence. If I wanted to pull out one sentence from your paper that would show me that it's what it's all about, it would be your topic sentence. And we have a formula. I love formula writing. That means just kind of fill in the blanks. Kim mentioned the formula. Formula is two parts. Kim, what are those two parts? Give me your subject. What are, what are you talking about? And give me a comment. What are you saying about that subject? So Kim, for everybody in this class, what's the subject? Oh, true. Something more specific. For this assignment, the the character. So who was your character again? Prometheus. All right, so Kim's got Prometheus as a subject, but you can't stop there. Make a comment. And this is where the writing becomes interesting. What are you saying about Prometheus? Does anybody, I, Kim remembers, but Kim shared with you. Does anyone remember um, the story of Prometheus? Yeah, Tony. He was a titan, that's correct, which means he preceded the Olympian gods. But once again, that's a detail. So let's get to the story, yeah. He gave power to men without the permission of Zeus. And therefore was? He was, uh, he, there was an eagle that was in his wonder. Careful, you're getting into details. You could just say he was punished. And then the details, you go into the eagle and the liver and all that bloody nonsense. Hercules does save him. So what do we want to say about Prometheus? This man, or the, sorry, this titan that gave fire to man and was punished by Zeus in this horrifying fashion. What's really important about the story? Yeah, he was a friend to human beings, right? That's pretty cool. Friends to humans. That's important. He gave fire to them. What else was seemed to be important about the story? It's punished.
I don't care about the eagle. I don't care about his liver. I don't care about the fact that he was uh, the titan of forethought. I don't care that he stole fire from Mount Olympus. I don't care what Zeus thought. Those are details. That's the comment. That's what I want to say about him. That's telling the story. That's giving a summary of what happened with Prometheus. Think about what's vitally important. What's Pandora's overwhelming character trait? Yes. Curiosity. OK, let's talk about curiosity. And what does curiosity lead to with Pandora? Right, but was what, what, what she did good, bad? Give me a charge for it, Alexis. Alex, bad. Disastrous, right? Because it let out all the evil things like hate and disease and sickness into the world. It's a disaster. Curiosity leads to disaster. Pandora was the first woman, and her curiosity allowed all the evils to be released into the world. I might polish that sentence a little bit, but that's it. I wouldn't say Hephaestus created Pandora. That's a detail, once again. Um, Odysseus. What seems cool about Odysseus? Who's got Odysseus? Nobody did Odysseus in this class? OK. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, who else do we want? Oh, Narcissus. Let's talk about Narcissus. Let's do a uh, um, subject and comment on Narcissus. What's important about Narcissus? What's vital? What's the comment? What are we saying about him? He's vain? Nice. I like that you like to use that word. And Tony goes a step further. His vanity led to what? That's right. Narcissus was a mythic character, a Greek mythic character whose vanity led to his own death. What questions haven't I answered in that topic sentence? What haven't I told you in that topic sentence? I'll give you the topic sentence again. Narcissus was a Greek mythic character whose extreme vanity led to his own death. What haven't I told you, Max? Setting? Yeah, I haven't told you the setting. I haven't told you by a river or a mountainside or in the forest, whatever. What else? How? How did he die? What else? Echo. Echo. I didn't tell you about Echo. The fact that he, uh, that he refused Echo's advances. What else haven't I told you about? When he died, that's correct. Why he was vain. That's right. I didn't tell you about Aphrodite's involvement in the whole thing. All of that's left for your detail. All of that's left for your two to three hundred words. I'm getting the key ideas. The character and what I want to say about him. All topic sentences, claim sentences, thesis statements will basically boil down to a thing and what you want to say about the thing. Subject and comment. In this case, you're talking about the character and what's important about the character. You get those two, and you're good. If you're not sure about how that will work with your particular character, then don't worry. You'll have time to talk with your group members about it, and you'll have time in the computer lab where you'll workshop it and pull me over and see if your topic sentence works, and I'll help you out with it. Any questions right now? No? Cool. Then 
you have some time remaining, so 